which is done on infants. Again, on the board we have the information that it is done within the first 24 to 48 hours after birth. So we're going to need to get some information from mom. Can you please tell me baby's name? Last name, first name. Uh, McElroy. Can you spell it for me, MC, please? capital E-L-L-O-Y. First name? Ajale, A-Z-J-A-H-L-A-I-Y. Date of birth? On November 28th of 2013. <laughs> Time of birth? Um, 2.09 p.m. Birth weight? She was 6 pounds, 9.6 ounces. Female? Yep. So your date of collection for the purposes of today needs to be within that 48 hour time frame of the date of birth that they give you. So we're going to say today is 11-30-2013. So on the top where it says date and time stamp, I can now put the date on there as 11-30-13. Time is going to be 10-35 a.m. <coughs> And my initials as the phlebotomist, LSC. Mm -hmm. Says method of <clears throat> collection, heel stick or venipuncture. Again, heel puncture is the preferred method, so that's what we're going to put on here today. Baby's access number? Is A as an apple? I'm going to say it's, um, it's not her actual, but it's A as an apple, 6830 and then the medical record number needs to go on there, so we will use baby's date of birth as the actual medical record number without any dashes. Okay. Okay. Is this a single birth or a multiple birth? Single. And is the baby white, African American, Asian, American Indian, other, or Hispanic origin? She white. Food source, was it breast only, milk and formula, soy breast formula? Breast and milk. Breast and milk. Was the child born sick or premature? No. Any cleft lip or cleft palate? No. Any neural tube deficits? No. Was baby transfused? No. Okay. And our, we said our submitter today is going to be Diamond Labs. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that everything is filled out in its entirety. The address for Diamond Labs is 2148 Opal Lane. Doctor is Jay Topaz. Phone number is 800 777 9311. 453 Amethyst Way is the address. City, state, and zip code is going to be Ruby, Arizona. Mother's name. It's Kachiri McElroy. Can you spell it for me, please? K A C H I I I uh, McElroy M C E L R O Y. Date of birth? Um, zero one zero six of nineteen eighty eight. Maiden name? I don't have a maiden name. So she doesn't have a maiden name, so we will put non applicable. Address? Um, eight zero zero one East Dell D E L. Platino, P L A T I N O, drive. City State? Scottsdale, Arizona. Zip code? 85258. Phone number? 480 370 5586. And is that the same as the message phone? Yes. So you can put say, C above or same as above. Is mom on access? Yes. Access number? A is an apple, 6837017. Okay. So, should look like this in its entirety. All of the spots need to be filled out. If it's not applicable, then put not applicable in slash A. Okay. So, what we would do with baby's heel is we would make sure that baby's heel is cleaned off on the fat fleshy portions but today we're going to be sticking a finger to simulate that same thing or that process so when doing a finger stick you can only either puncture the middle finger or the ring finger so 
what we want to do is make sure that we wipe off the middle finger. Some people only wipe the tip. I like to wipe the entire finger, just like some people only wipe the spot where they're going to stick the infant in the heel, but realistically, they should wipe off that entire fatty portion of the foot, that lateral surface, that whole surface should be wiped off. You have two different lancets. We said that you cannot puncture greater than 2.0. The pink lancet will puncture at 1.8. The blue one will puncture at 2.0. And in the nursery, when you're doing a heel stick, they generally have lancets there for you that say um, tenderfoot. So you can actually use one of those. And they will be at the 2.0. However, you can always pick up the box look on the box where it says 2.0 millimeters to make sure that you have the right size. Now to promote blood flow, what we want to do is we want to squeeze the finger at the bottom, <clears throat> squeeze the finger in the middle, then we're going to squeeze the finger right close to the tip so that we can bring blood flow to the tip of the finger. You do not want to puncture this way because this travels with the fingerprint pattern and we don't want to do that. You actually want to cut across. So not to travel parallel, but to travel perpendicular, okay? You don't want to puncture right dead smack in the center of the finger. You want to be off to the fatty, fleshy portions of the finger just like you would if you were doing a heel. This is a contact activated lancet. So when we push it to the finger, it punctures quick. <laughs> we're going to squeeze the first blood. We're going to wipe that off because we don't want to get any interstitial fluids into our sample. Now, we said that these need to be filled in their entirety. What I like to do with the finger is turn it upside down so that blood flow will actually work against me with gravity. With infant's foot, generally they're lying down, so gravity is going to be working with you anyway. Okay? So we're going to squeeze. And you want to get the biggest blood drop that you can. We're going to drop that on there. And again, you want to paint the entire circle. There should not be any spot on the circle that does not get filled. You want to try to avoid what is called the layering effect, where you're putting blood right back onto the same spot that you had it before. Generally, I wipe off sometimes so the blood doesn't start to run down the finger. You want to make sure that all of your blood drops are completely filling your circles. So you see how the circles are. It doesn't matter if the blood goes out of the circle a little bit. That is okay. If you get big enough drops, they'll generally fill a pretty big surface. You see how I'm actually taking it and almost painting? Why don't you want to go over the same twice? Because it causes layering, so when it dries, it's going to actually dry uneven. Any questions about this? We want to make sure that we're not pressing down the finger to the paper. Just know baby's feet bleed a lot better than what these fingers are going to do today. Now, how many of you have cold hands? Okay. That can actually be the same scenario with baby in the hospital. That baby's feet are cold because there are no socks on there. They do have heel warmers. They do have, don't. They do have heel warmers, so you can actually put the heel warmer on baby's foot and warm it up before you start to stick it because blood flow is promoted by heat. When you put that hot heat or that warm heat to the foot, it promotes blood flow. So, when you finish, this is what the PKU will look like. All five circles are completely filled. When it dries, it dries horizontally for three hours. Not vertically, horizontally or three hours and then it's going to be put in an envelope and then sent off to the state and the state will actually process that entire test okay any questions about that all righty